everyone, it's Erin with Paparazzi Accessories, your $5 fashionista team leader. And I'm going to show you how I set up my display for parties and events. I get asked a lot um, how fast my setup is and I usually take about, oh, I would say maybe 10 minutes to set everything up, probably from start to finish. Um, and that just depends on, I guess, loading and unloading. Um, and sometimes it might take longer if you if I have to park down, um, say, at an apartment building. Um, a lot of times they don't have parking for people who don't live there, so you may have to park farther farther away. And then you know just the trip to unload things um, can take a while. So sometimes that takes a little bit longer. But I'm going to show you how I set up my display um, once everything is unloaded and inside um, the hostess's home. And one thing I have to say is I have done many different things and this is what works for me. You will find just through trial and error what works for you and I would highly recommend that you choose the things that are fast and simple um, and not very expensive. Um, my setup doesn't cost very much and after I have it all set up I will go through the cost of each of my displays um, and how much I spend on each of them just so you can see how affordable it can be um, to get your displays ready. So, um, here I go. So, here is my um, headband and hair clip rack. And I usually just find a corner kind of near the door in the front where I will set it up at. And then I got this garment rack. Um, or should I say, one of my downline girls did. I bought it from her. Um, this is a just a regular garment rack that you hang things on. Um, I got it at Target. I think you probably find it other places, but I set all of my necklaces up on it. And I carry most of my jewelry in this tote right here. So everything I have in my inventory is, on, is in here, with the exception of my hair accessories and my earrings, which you'll see later. So emptying it out. All some fun stuff. Okay, and I carry all of my necklaces in these oatmeal containers. So here's a lid. Um, hanging on the trailer ties. And you can carry um, 20 necklaces on each. And I just hang them up. And each rack can hold up to five of these. So five times, well two, I guess, because you have two racks. So I can carry 10 of them times 20, that's 200 necklaces I can carry on this rack. And I love it because it has wheels. So after I set it up, if we want to change where I put it, I can just move it around. I like to set it where there's a lot of light, especially natural light. And the great thing about these is that the girls can just, let's see if you can see better. The girls can turn them around. There can be people on both sides. If it's in an open space, I like to put it in the middle of a room. Alright, now next is my table. Sometimes your hostesses will have a table already, um, but I like to bring my own just in case. And you probably won't be able to see the entire setup because we have such a small area to work with. But this makes you, I just want you to see how I do it. So I get my tablecloth on. And then from here on out, it's just pretty much just set up and drop things in. So I put my mirror up. Um, this, I like to just throw my bracelets in. And I carry my bracelets on a Ziploc bag. So I'll set my bracelets up here. My rings I keep in their boxes. Take the lids off so everybody can see how nice and pretty they are. And 
And I was telling you before about my earrings. I keep all my earrings on this twirling rack right here. So they can just twirl them. And then I found this cute tray at Goodwill and I painted it black. And I use it to put all my starlet shimmer in. So I like to separate it. So I'll put all of my bracelets in the larger compartment. Did they take up more room? And then I'll put all my earrings in the smaller compartment. And then I just actually with my headbands, the stretchy headbands, I actually just lay them out on the table, just like this, um, just in different colors. Um, anyway, you can just pair them up as you want to. Um, there's more on the side of the table, but I'm just going to show you that even if you have a small table, you can still set up all of your things. And I tell you what, women love to rummage through your things. They just love to rummage. It doesn't matter if everything's all organized and be beautiful and perfect. Um, it could just be a really simple setup. Um, and then on my Starlight Shimmer rings, I just set up and stick next to um, just all my Starlight Shimmer items. And then I usually just put a sign that says $1 Starlight Shimmer next to my Starlight Shimmer items. And I put up a bag. Here's my drawing bag. So it's just collapsible. I showed it to you in other videos. I set it up just right there. Um, with my sign, my drawing slips, my drawing slips, and a pen. So I got my pen. So they know they can earn and win free jewelry. And that's pretty much it. It didn't take long at all. Um, maybe about five minutes after I get everything in, it took you that much to, sign, to, to set it up. And to take down just pretty much takes the same amount. Um, it does take a little bit longer to take down only because um, the Starlet Shimmer, I have to put it all in the bracelets all back in the bag. But since you have, will have less items, it won't take as much time as you think. Um, and then I just want to show you real quick how I take the necklaces down, how fast and easy it is. Because um, I get asked all the time whether or not things tangle. Oh, might as well just take this down. So this, I just collapse it like this, and then I bungee cord it, and I carry it back to my car. So that's taken care of. Put this aside. Okay, so for my necklaces, this is how I put them away. It's so super easy. So I just hold on to them just like this. And put them all in like this. And then I put the lid on, pop it in, and it's gone. It's done. And I do that with each of them. It takes not long at all. So that is my setup. Um, the only other thing that I do um, is I set up my station with my, um, my cash box and my information. I put my business cards out and then I also put my yard sale sign out front. And if there's space, if they have a nice big yard, I, I put two of them up. I like to put one up right in front of their home and then another one out um, if it's close to a major street, I put it in there so people who are coming to the party that have never been to that house before can easily know, okay, this is where I turn to get to that party. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoy my setup and you get some great ideas. Um, real quick, I just want to tell you how much everything cost. My table, my folding table, I think was $40. My husband bought it for me for my um, for a Christmas present, which was awesome of him. Um, way supportive there. And then my the garment rack display, I think they were $15 at Target. Uh, I think I mentioned Target before. Um, you could probably find it at Walmart or um, just any other department store. I really like the one that has the two racks, so I would suggest getting that one. It's a great feature because you can carry more things on it. Um, and then my um, my box here, the one that my Starlet Shimmer is in, I told you I got a Goodwill. I think it was a dollar. And then this little tray, I got it at the Target. Um, dollar section, so just a dollar. Um, oh, and then the only thing I didn't have are my, my buckets. 
So I always have my little buckets that I have for people to put their, um, their jewelry in when they go shopping. And I got each of those, I think, for 30 cents. They were on clearance. And they were, again, found in the dollar section of Target. Um, my mirror, I found a Hobby Lobby, and I used my coupon for 40% off, and it was regularly, I think, 24 So I think I got it for maybe $16. So my son had broken my previous mirror that I bought that was like $3 somewhere. And um, I was on my way to party and had to buy a mirror because he had busted it. <laughs> so sometimes that happens. Um, some things I didn't show were these little displays. Um, I found these at um, Craft Warehouse, and they didn't have this ribbon on them. Um, but without this ribbon, this part right here um, can collapse outwards. So I just used some hot glue and glued a ribbon on it so they don't fall and collapse. And um, that's just an easy setup. You can put a necklace on. That's really super fast and easy, and they collapse down and throw them, throw them in there. So that's another thing you can add to your display if you have table space. Um, but it's not necessary. It's great to showcase the shorter necklaces as they don't drape as well on um, being hung up. Sometimes it's hard to see how it would lay. So the shorter necklaces I really like to highlight on, um, on these collapsible um, display busts. And the back office is soon going to have a bunch of display busts, um, but I'm not certain if they collapse down um, really well. So I really like these because they don't take up much space at all, and they're very affordable. I think I got these, um, I think there were two of them for $4, so pretty affordable. Um, my tablecloth, I just used a black um, satiny fabric. My mom actually gave this to me for Christmas. Um, she asked me what measurement I wanted. I told her anything to fit a size six foot long table, so she cut it to the length, and there I have it. Um, so that was... Um, I'm sure even if you get something that's probably like $4 a yard, that's $8 um, for two yards, which would give you plenty, um, and that's a great tablecloth. And a lot of events, some of them um, require you to have a black tablecloth, and some of them have to be floor length in the front. So it's good to go larger rather than, um, you know, fitting tr true to size. Um, let's see, what else? Gift bag, I think was a dollar. Obviously, you can get it at a dollar store. Um, anything that has, any place that has a gift bag, you can get those. And I think, oh, and then my earring display, um, we found a really great website that has jewelry display items, and a bunch of local girls and I, we went in because if you bought them in groups, it kind of brought the cost of them down. So we actually went in a group, and we bought, I think, about 12 of these, and um, it made the cost of one of these about $7. So I really like it. Um, this part actually comes off of this tea stand. So you can take this part off, just like that, and put it back on. You can tell I don't very, take it off very often. I just travel with it like this. Um, and you can put rubber bands around the outside to keep all your earrings in place so they don't fall down. I've also seen someone have um, little small clothes pins that they stick on the ends to help keep their earrings from falling off when they're trans, um, transporting them in their vehicle. So. Um, another really good idea you can get is this ring box display. Um, I don't really care to use it. I mean, if I had enough Starlet Shimmer and I had 100, I think if it's like 80 um, Starlet Shimmer rings, I would probably use this with my Starlet Shimmer only um, because the Starlet Shimmer rings will fit in these really great and they won't fall out. The larger rings, however, and I'll just show you, I'll put one in and they, I don't know if you can kind of see, but they, um, they can fall out pretty easily a little bit if they're the stretchy bands, they're hard to fit in there. And then another thing is they sit taller, um, so they don't push all the way down into the foam. They sit taller. So it's just kind of an awkward box for the bigger rings. They actually came out with a newer box where the foam has thicker holes. But once you put the rings in, they will just fall out. If this gets up, turned upside down, it'll just fall out. So I wish they would have one with a case that goes over the top to keep them from falling out. Once they come up with something like that, then I probably definitely would buy one. But if you have a lot of Starlet Shimmer Rings and you sell a lot of them, I would get one of these just for your Starlet Shimmer Rings um, because it's flat and you can just sit right down in whatever case you're carrying your jewelry in. So anyway, that is my um, jewelry display, and I hope you guys enjoyed um, seeing my setup and how fast and easy it was. I've done this whole demonstration in 15 minutes, and that's um, plus all of my talking and introduction time. So, and um, anyway, you can see that once you get everything in someone's house, you can set up your display items for five minutes. Um, 
It helps to have things preloaded, like my headbands and hair clips are preloaded on that board. Um, it is kind of awkward to carry around places, but you can have it a shorter half size board and set it up on a table if you have space for it. Um, I really like my stand up display and how long it is because when people are standing up, it's at their eye level. They don't have to reach down and bend down to look at them. Um, so that will probably help in sales as well. I actually might be going back to doing um, my headbands and my hair clips just in little Rubbermaid bins. Um, that way it's another, it's another easy thing. You just open up the lid on your bin and there they are. Um, really simple, really easy. Uh, there's no big fuss taking down, putting them up. Um, it's not as awkward and maybe carrying that large board around. Um, so anyway, those are just great ideas. If you have any of your own, please share them um, on our Facebook page. And thanks for being part of my team. I hope that you guys do a phenomenal job with your sales and, and keep it simple. Um, most of my recruits, um, I think sometimes you can scare people away if everything's too complicated and it takes too long because they get overwhelmed by the setup. Um, and knowing that they have the setup for every party that they do, they're kind of just like, I don't know if I'm up for that. Um, you know, it seems like it takes a long time. It seems like it would be a hassle. It looks really heavy. So my best advice um, for you on setting up is make it simple, make it fast, and make it easy so that they can see that it doesn't cost a lot of money, that it's really simple, um, anyone can do it, and, you know, it doesn't take a lot of skill. It doesn't have to be all cutesy and, um, you know, glamorous and exciting. I mean, you guys, they come and they buy the jewelry. That's what they're there for. And the jewelry should be the forefront of your displays. It shouldn't be the other way around. Your display shouldn't be distracting away from the jewelry. So um, keep it simple, keep it easy, and keep it affordable. Um, don't put yourself in debt just trying to buy <laughs> these outrageous, like, jewelry cases that you can find somewhere online. Um, make it really easy and affordable so that when your downlines come to you for help and ideas, they're not overwhelmed with the cost of displays or the overwhelmingness of how much um, stuff you have to have. So keep it easy. I just keep it simple, and that's what works for me. And um, you'll find that you probably will recruit more um, locally if your displays are set up to where it's easy and fast because it's not overwhelming, and they think to themselves, I can do that. When you make it difficult, that's when they start second-guessing whether or not it's something that they can do. And I want you to really portray to everyone, no matter who it is, that they have a disability, that they can do this business in so many different ways. They just have to find a way that works for them in their situation. So this is Erin signing off. I hope you really enjoyed uh, my video, and I will talk to you girls later.